Hello my beauties, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm showing you how to make these lovely decorative pillows. These are great to decorate your bedroom, living room or that special corner at your home or office. Both projects are super easy to make and I had a lot of fun making them. This is a great elegant idea, let's get started. You'll need some satin fabric. I picked this pink one, a ruler, scissors, faux suede, a lighter, stuffing, thread and needle, and a hot glue gun. Cut several stripes from your satin fabric, about 3 inches wide. Mark a circle using a lid or something the size of the palm of your hand. Now cut it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just have to have this size. Now take a smaller stripe and fold it in this way. Take the first circle and fold it on the stripe. Use it as a guide to cut 3 or 4 circles at a time. The number of circles you'll need depends on the design you choose to make and the size of your pillow. Take a circle and put some glue gun on the satin side. Fold it like this. Now again, put some glue in the middle. And fold it again. You should have a triangle like this. We are trying to make this look like a petal. So now just fold it like so and apply some more glue in the corner. Make as many petals as you need. You can make the pillowcase or buy it. I found mine at H&M and the size is 20 inches. The design is up to you. It can be a cute heart or a circle, but I decided to cover all my pillow in a cross pattern. I'm tracing the cross so I can have a path to follow. And now I'm placing the center of my petals. Then I'll apply some glue. If you're making the same design, it's better to trace the center and then start by the corners, so the petals can be on top of each other like so. First glue the cross so you can have more control over the design. And now just fill the rest of the spaces. If your pillow is as big as mine, I'll recommend you to watch a nice movie while doing this project. And that's all! You should have something like this. It really looks lovely and it looks beautiful in every color. Now just fill the pillowcase with the stuffing or put another pillow inside. For the next project you'll need another pillowcase. Mine is also from H&M and the size is 12 inches. But you can do the pillowcase yourself. Now cut 2 inches wide stripes. This one need to be pretty straight when you cut them. Make sure your fabric doesn't fray like mine. But if it happens, don't worry, just seal the edges with the lighter. Now start making this kind of stitch. And you have something like this when you pull the thread. Make a stripe long enough to cover about 3 quarters of your pillow. Put some glue on the center of the case and place your stripe in a spiral form. It's important to leave a nice piece of thread so you can play with how tight the stitch should be. Keep going until you finish the flower. This project is my favorite. You can play with colors and textures and be as creative as you want. As you can see the extra thread comes very handy when you are creating your design. When you finish, just hide a corner under the flower and that's all. I decided to leave the flower this size, but you can cover all your pillow if you want to. Now just fill the pillowcase and you're done. Ok my loves, that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy it and try to recreate them. This can also be a gift for Valentine's Day. 
Thanks for watching. I'll send you a very, very big kiss and I'll see you soon. Bye.